Islands. I've been around to share with you. If you are from the northern part of the United States, you will already know and feel the same disappointment as me. That we had a little taste of spring the last couple weeks, and then now it's back down to being like 35 degrees and extremely windy. So, boo. So, since you're inside like me on this slightly chilly day, I have some cool things to share with you from my collection. Let's start off this day together as we try to stay warm inside with me sharing some of my vintage photograph collection. If you have watched any of my other videos where I share my vintage photograph collection, you will know that I am drawn to photos of people who are showing very high style for their time period and I think still fabulous even today like this young lady here. I love her hat. I mean I wish I could get away with wearing a hat like that. If I could, I would. This is Margaret and she's awesome. I love her lace collar she has. And I'm guessing that these are like her coming of age photos, you know, where parents were like, Ooh, my daughter is 16. Let's pimp her out. But in a fabulous, fashionable way. Keep it classy. Along with my fashionable um, ladies and gents, I'm also drawn to cool facial hair. And I think that Alfred here has a very wonderful mustache and a very nice suit. Is it weird that I want to name like all vintage photographs with a man in it with a fabulous mustache, Alfred. Do Alfreds just have great mustaches? What's the deal with that? Here is a nice photo of George and Lorraine. Lorraine looks to be maybe like a school teacher. She has some nice glasses and she has a little pin. And George just looks like a nice stately gentleman. He doesn't tend to say much, but Lorraine makes up for that because she is a chatterbox. So anyone who knows these two know that they're a perfect match because of that. And I've learned from watching old-timey photos that her style is kind of like the conservative school teacher type style. <laughs> I'm so smart. Here's a picture of the Worthingtons, and the Worthingtons kind of have a sad story. I would say they appear happy in this photo, but they don't even appear happy in this photo. But let's start. Here is Georgina, and she's the oldest of the Worthington children, and her father is Ben, and her mother is Francine. And they were a bad match. Francine married Ben after her true love was killed in the Civil War and never came back. And it was a small town, so it was kind of like, Ben's the only one really left, so let's go with that. Ben became a heavy drinker, and that's just kind of how it all started. Now here's the oldest son, Garrett, and then here's Joseph. And Joseph was a good boy. I think he's the only one out of the whole brew that really had a chance in life. And Garrett there, he was kind of your just everyday alcoholic, would beat up on his girlfriend. Oh, my doggie's getting in the dog food back there. But anyways, everything would have been fine for little Sue, Billy, except for Sid. Sid you should never name a child Sid because they're going to be bad. But this is actually a boy and they knew something was wrong with Sid from the get-go because he wanted to dress like a girl 
But anyways, long story short, he ended up putting strychnine in the well and killed the whole family. I just wanted to insert a little side note because when I was showing the last picture, I said his family knew something was wrong with him because he wanted to dress like a girl. I just wanted to say I have nothing wrong with the transgender community. I was just pointing out that at that time, I don't think they would have been very too happy about that. And so it wasn't nothing against nobody's personal choices. I just want to say that. Oh, here's little baby Michael on his day of christening. On his day of being blessed. Isn't that precious? I love old christening gown pictures. And that's why I picked this out. And partially too because of the gown. It's hard to tell if it was a boy or a girl. But I'm just saying that this is little Michael. Or, if you're feeling the opposite, we'll call him Little Michelle. Michael or Michelle. Christening. Yay. Now what in the Sam Hill? How did this picture of the Duggars get in my vintage photograph collection? I like this picture because of this random little boy here who's like the only child dressed super fancy. And you can tell that he is mad about it. He is mad about it because all the other kids are running and playing and he's stuck in this darn hot frilly frocky outfit. It's not fair. Now the next part of what I'm going to be sharing with you can be a little creepy. So if you don't like to see dead things and preserved things, you might as well just go on and click off my video now. But to offset the creepiness, I brought this cute, cute thing. Something overly cute to offset something overly crepe. Okay, here's one of my first dead things. I found this at a thrift store actually, and I paid a dollar and 50 cents for it. And so I thought it was a pretty cool find. Very pretty in a somewhat cute frame. So I've been having this like sitting up on one of my bookshelves amongst my antique books and other creepy things and I really like the look of it just floating there. Here are some more dead things. This is a little bit sad but I did find more like remnants of a blue jay in the neighbor's yard and I'm pretty sure that a cat had gotten hold of it or something because it only left the undesirable and untasty bits behind like the head and the wings. Can you see that? Pretty pretty blue jay wings. So this is both wings here and I've been doing something new on my specimens both wet and this one is just dry because um, it's mostly just feathers and I got these little things and I've been labeling them and so those are the wings and here is the actual like tail and tail feather of the bird and I also have the head but I think it's pretty difficult to see this that pretty blue color and it's the head and it's pretty neat pretty neat indeed in my last, one of my last videos, I mentioned that I was going to be making some stuff and I showed you some medical books and I showed you some baby torsos. If you have not seen it, I will link it down below so you can go watch that one too. But here's what I made. It's a little wall decoration and it hangs and it's got, wow that reflection is bad. It's got the skull bone and side profile of the brain on some like flower paper and a nice frame. Here's some of those torsos. A brain. It's a brain. And then some more just medical stuff and it hangs on the wall. And I made it. Ain't you proud of me? As always, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, if you can think of something that you want me to look for while I'm out and about on my thrift and antique hauls, let me know. I would love to find some cool stuff, 
and let me know what you think about the things that I make. I love to hear your feedback and your opinions because you're my friends. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.